Hello guys and welcome to episode 68 of my Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign playing as Isabella von Karstein leading the Vampire Counts to world domination. Previously we used Morath Morphin to kick back Eltharion from the Shrine of Kurnus. He's going to be replenishing but we'll go and take out Eltharion first and go and sit in the Shrine of Cain. So let's grab Morath Morphin and do just that. Looks like that's going to be a decisive victory, so we'll take it and we'll take the replenishment. And then we should just be able to go to the Shrine of Cain and destroy the garrison there, which is really not very big. And we'll occupy that. Thank you very much. We'll, of course, build the abandoned Shrine of Widowmaker because it does give us that sweet income from both battle loot and vampiric corruption plus five. I will upgrade that as well. Once that goes to the next level, it does give a minus raised dead cost as well for all characters and an extra 10% income from post battle loot. It is a really, really nice building to have. All right, let's move on to Liesel von Diesel. Liesel von Diesel uh, might as well kill off Sark here on the way through. There's also Setra in our way. We'll go for Zark, kill him off, and then maybe we just go for Setra immediately afterwards as well. This army of Liesel von Diesel actually is really nice against Setra's skeleton hordes because we can just brute force through them with all of this cavalry it's gonna be really really fun Everything dies. anyway meanwhile bernard uh can also come forwards i might want to just run round to kuexotl so that nobba doesn't take it from us yes, let's just indeed. march around that way over to meland uh, Milland has some work to do, I'll tell you that much. There is a lot of forces here. Uh, although Rel, his force is entirely Skaven Slaves, so that's not too bad. What I should probably do is attack the settlement itself so that all of these come in as reinforcements and then win the battle that way. So that's what we're going to do. Let's jump on in have to try and get on top of those rattling guns uh, but once they're taken care of things should be absolutely fine so we will have reinforcements coming in behind us but attacking this army first is super important because we need to get on top of the rattling guns ASAP so let's just shift over to the left side here and we'll play around this rock if we can block some of the shots as well, that'd be great. Mortis engine. Let's let the Crypt Ghouls go first. Follow it up with the Skeleton Warriors and stuff, of course. A couple bats that can stay spread out. Yeah, off we go. Yeah, we just engage them on this left side here. We keep the Mortis engines close. We've got plenty of good magic. I think we'll be okay. Definitely going to get sandwiched a bit. It's going to speed things up. The Warp Lightning Cannon can't fire at us at the moment, as you can see. And it's going to be a little bit annoying. Those rats holding back some of our forces. Let's not sit in front of the fire there. We're being hit by the Warp Block to Zales and the Warp Lightning Cannon. Go hug this rock. Get the Mortis engines in to help out as well. Keep everything else piling up there. Uh, 
Oh, those are just clan rats, so the hex race. Can race, sorry. Should be okay. We're gonna dive in and take out the Halbert Abomination. So far, so good. If we can just get them all to pile in here, that would be fantastic. We can drop down some Pit of Shades. Take them out. I'm going to fly to the side here. I do want to get on top of the Rattling Guns. Let's just keep piling in. And I think I'll try and keep these bats free until these Clan Rats engage. Let's go for those rattling guns. And we need to look for some pit of shades. Pop a pit of shades on these rattling guns and range forces there. Is everything in melee right now? It's totally fine. Good. I'm actually going to take these off and go for the warp lightning cannon. We gotta take that out. It's gonna keep firing at them otherwise. We'll drop another pit of shades in here. I would like to try and heal those a little bit. The uh, the rats have come in behind. That's okay. I do just need to keep these monsters engines in combat. They will do loads of damage in these battles. We'll drop a bit of shades into all of these Skaven slaves, I think. So, perfect target for it. Maybe a little bit of a waste. But it will deal with them quickly and it will take a lot of health away from them which is good let's get those bats away from the units over there a little bit frustrating that we're being hit by the rattling guns here maybe if we can get around the corner that would be good the rattling gun trench to get on top of our Vargoff. Sad times. I do I do need to go deal with those. I can't just let them sit there and attack us. Now all before us will perish. We'll let the Mortis Engines try and run those down. It's funny, like, as soon as all of the Skaven chaff is dead, it's when the rallying guns become most effective. Oh, 
This turned into a little bit of a rough battle for me. I definitely lost probably more than I hoped I would, especially considering how well it was going initially. Just got to make sure these weapon teams are dead. Those bats actually won that. Okay. I thought they were going to get killed off, but no, we're good. Good. All right, that'll do. We'll end the battle there, I think. Uh, maybe try and kill off these Warplock to Zales before they get off the edge of the map. Otherwise, we're all good. I think that's everything. Uh, I might try and chase down the Grace here, although I'm not sure which one was in the settlement. Obviously, the one that's inside the settlement will just die anyway. It doesn't really hurt. It won't take too long. There we go. Take the close victory. And fingers crossed, we'll get Dead Rise again for the Vargolf. I don't really mind about the X race or Ken race, sorry. Even though the Ken race did do a lot of work. Did we get it back? We did. Perfect. Everything else doesn't really matter. Let's just occupy this. And we'll pop in the gibbet. And we'll grab a couple more units. To fill the roster. I'm actually just going to grab a bunch of bats just because we are up against a lot of Bratling guns all the time. I will yeah, Millen's done a great job there. Really good. Okay, let's go Children of the Night. We'll go to Immortal Horror after that. And for her, she can grab Conviction. Okay. Moving on, we have Felix Gaines. Good old Felix Gaines. He is actually one short. We'll put some more bats in again. Where do I want to go? I think it might be a good idea to go for the throat with Avalon. That's a Lariel. Also, I just realized Felix Gaines has terrible weapons and armor. We'll give him an Executioner's Axe. And we'll also give him Trix's Helm. Uh, the Chronic Command is okay. But surely there's better... Like a potion of healing, or okay, that's fine. Uh, we we definitely made him a lot better <laughs> with the uh, Trixus Helm there. That's like even extra ward save. So he's on twenty six ward save, ten percent physical resistance, thirty five missile resistance, which makes him pretty resistant overall to missile damage, which is perfect just in time to attack the high elves here. If there is not walls. Then we're good. Let's go. Because we'll be able to run down all of those ranged forces before they really become a problem. So their front line is actually very weak. Oh, this is good as well. We're in a, tr in a tree line. And we're fighting. So, okay. I will just kind of line things up and get going, I think. There's no real reason to mess about here. I might take my fast movers out wide. We can go kill Alario with uh, Felix Gaines. Necromancer. And my Necromancer just needs to drop zombies on top of the Sisters of Avalon.
Want to be a little bit careful. I might actually drop some crypt horrors or crypt ghouls on top of them. Well, Ariel's just gone in. Okay. And that works for me. Means we can give a huge buff to all of our units. I'll even drop a spirit leech on her. We'll keep throwing down more zombies and come down into the back of these units. Still my beating heart. This to me is looking like a wind of death. Maybe could have done better with that. What's Alario doing? He's gone. Keep dropping more zombies. Maybe even some more ghouls. Well, I kind of want him to focus on killing an Ario. Mortis engine, beautiful decay. So much death. Death. <laughs> now those archers are taken care of. Now all of the Mortis engines are engaged. We should be absolutely fine. Get some invocations going on our Cryptoras. Just to make sure that they are topped off. Zombies, zombies everywhere. Little pockets of high elves. Glittering host. I kind of wish I had the shades right now, but uh, we'll throw a wind of death through that. And we'll hit the yes. of Avalon again. Yes. Good. This one unit here is not having a fun time. Dragon Princes do look cool. I don't know if I'm a fan of the green in this case, but Dragon Princes in, in general are very, very awesome. How is Alario still alive? Please kill her. We use the Morse engines to try and kill off the Dragon Princes. <laughs> Lara was still trying to run away from Felix. I'm going to bring up some zombies in here. That way we can pin them down a little bit, although it seems like they're routing, so we're going to get away. 
Doesn't matter, it's a settlement battle. We can end it there, and that will wipe them all out. Another fine job by Felix Gaines. Let's occupy that. Make on the other Trixus shard. Okay, let's pop the gibbet in there, gibbet in there, demolish that. Giant Veil will be the next target for Felix Gaines. That's going to be really, really good uh, to, to take that. Okay, next up we have Heinrich Kemmler. So, Heinrich. We had, obviously, Marcus, who's going to travel up towards Ulthuan. Heinrich, you going to go that way as well? I guess we might as well. I don't know if it'd be faster to go on the water. We'll run around like so. Does this not have enough vampiric corruption? Why are we taking attrition? It says high chaos attrition. Losses due to attrition when in areas with high chaos corruption. There's no chaos corruption here. Ruinous plague. Ah, oh, okay, we're just plagued here. Don't know. Regardless, doesn't matter. Let's move on. One thing I do want to do at some point is build another army. This way. We need to find a good raised this Deadpool and just pump out another army. Rather than recruit Bring one flesh to craft. from scratch somewhere, we just find a place where we can raise dead. Straight into like a full Mortis Engine fledged army. I'll have to keep an eye out for that. My sire. Okay. Now, did Dorgan have their icon changed in the latest patch? I imagine they did. I go. Interesting. Okay. Over to Reginald. Move down there, and Warmond can try and take out Triven, I suppose. That's a shame. Ulrich Barakmir. Point. The place Children of the Night works well. The raised Deadpool here is actually pretty good. And there's two Mortis engines. Let's recruit a Lord here then. Uh, do we have any already? I mean, we've got this one that's tough. Dread Incarnate Master Necromancer. I don't know what the levels are for this chap. Well, they actually haven't had them put in. Okay. Well, we'll definitely go Invocation. That's of Undeath, Hunger. And potentially Undying Horde. And then we're going to go Double Mortis Engine. We'll go Double Vargolf, Terrorgeist. Uh, three grave guard, three grave guard with great weapons. I'll grab some crypt horrors. Tempted to go for X rays can race as well, but I kind of want to keep things in the same category.
we grab some Vargeist and uh, Bellbats, I think. Perfect. The beauty of the vampire counts. <laughs> Just spawn an army out of nowhere in one turn. That's <laughs> ready to go next turn. Great stuff. Okay, we've got to look for a raised Deadpool down here as well. Oh, we might actually be able to do one here. That would be good. Uh, there is... The raised dead hand thing there. Usually it tells you. Bats and wolves gather. I hunt. We can always recruit a lord and then just disband them if it's crap. This guy's master of the black arts. Chilfroy. Got Hunger, Invocation, Curse of Undeath, or the Restless Dead. Unliving Host. Let's just check, though. Yeah, so this isn't as good. We can grab Crypt Ghouls, Crypt Horrors. We can put a Vargolf in there. We need more sentence, really. I'm gonna get rid of him for now. Right, over to Melissa. Melissa can go for conviction. Now we need further. And Joss can max out wound. And now we have building upgrades available. The commandment available over here. Upgrade the outpost, of course. And another harvest corpses. Very, very nice. Yeah, so my plan is to probably get another army down here at some point. That would be good. Once we take out the Doom Kings, I think that will probably give us a decent raised Deadpool just because the amount of skeletons we're going to kill. Yeah, an extra one down here would be good that can help sweep through the Chaos Lands. We're obviously going to be going up to Ulth 1, helping take Ulth 1, and then these ones will just go down into Lustria, whilst the rest of them kind of sweep through the mountains here. And then we're also probably going to need armies that head over this way, although that will most likely be dealt with by a confederation with Helm and Gost. That's what I'm hoping anyway, Welcome. but... Let us it was really close to Confederation. It was like only two off. Now it's down to 33. Which is unfortunate. We'll move on to the next turn. Just got to keep I checking that basically every turn. Welcome thee. They want me to join the war against Carnage Pyrotechnics. Again, I don't know where they are. Keep asking me to join this war. Like, I'm just going to do it because it'll make them like me. And maybe we'll get attacked by them and find out where they are. <laughs> uh, otherwise, I don't think there's too much to worry about. Uh, maybe a Skaven army might attack us, particularly Clan Mormors. No, nope, Clan Mormors chose not to. We're not near Clan Pestilens. Clan Richtis is going for Karakazul. It's okay. It looks like they sacked it rather than actually took it. Probably because the AI is getting low on food. <laughs> okay, I will take that ridiculous order resolve in my favor. Thank you very much. <laughs> like it. Unleash hell, mission issued. Okay, right. Isabella. Big Racto Gorge. Nice Pyrrhic victory. Occupy that. And build walls. The other thing that I'm going to want to do is recruit some more White Kings. So we'll do that.
I max, uh, I've maxed out on them. How many vampires does Isabella have? She has four. So he needs four white kings. As you the four knights. <laughs> uh, Blade Master. Oh dear, that'll do. I also need to give these... Um, armor and stuff. We'll do it by unequipped. Uh, basic armor. Um, Discord, I guess, is fine. Talisman. Of endurance and enchanted item. Terrifying mask, that'll do. Yeah, these ones also need a little bit of armor and stuff, don't they? Our sort of bloodshed is fine. Give him night shroud. We'll do a Dawnstone and then Enchanted Item. Oh, have a Fireball, even though I never use it. Short of Bloodshed. Uh, we're kind of low on armor now, aren't we? A Dawnstone and Shield of Talos. That will do. Okay, cool. I can also give them all ancillaries. <laughs> no, it's not worth it. It's not worth my time. It's really not worth my time. Uh, unless the movement range. Can I give them movement range? Actually, that's a good point. If I can give them movement range, it's definitely worth my time. Uh, let's just double check. So, if we can go to ancillaries and go by unequipped. Sarah movement range one. There's grave digger. Black cat is control. No, I mean our ancillaries we barely have any, so that's fine. Okay. Assign skill points. It's fine. I don't know why I'm doing that when I haven't even done my turn yet. Let's go to Wilma. Down to the cast jungle. Here we go. All bogged. Your army got absolutely decimated, but you should be fine. Undead. Where do we go with her? Right, we're going to obviously have Clara. Yes, come down and deal with the Black Iron Mine. We do need Your to obviously wipe over. out these forces here. Yeah, let's just have Warbog follow up as well. March her that way. Clean out our back line and then we can carry on. Okay, time for Ulrich to take Venom Glade. I'm actually going to have Raynor come and back us up for this because we need to get him some experience. It looks like we're going to be going to war with the Axiles on the heck. Oh, where's Roderick going to go? Uh, maybe we could send Roderick over to Ulth One. Now we got those two armies here. Because we've got this army of Rudolph is heading north. I don't know if Rudolph's army is going to be able to take out both of these. Mainly because it's almost entirely Felbats. 
<laughs> Such a ridiculous army. Now. Move. I'm going to march Raynor down towards Val's anvil so he can take that with him. And then Ulrich can just attack uh, King Nefekar in Arcadon. Hey, Roderick. Yeah, I think we bring him onto Orthoan. Strike out! So Morath Morphin also can carry on back to here. We go and take Phoenix Gate with Morath Morphin. Volka is continuing his journey towards the Ogres with Hermann. And Lizor, time for you to take out Setra. Oh, low casualties, nice. Take that, thank you very much. Looks like this army didn't need to come around and defend this in the end because we got that crazy order resolve. <laughs> very silly. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep the Crypt Keepers here, to be honest. Let's move on to Meland. Uh, Meland should chase down these armies. And Queek is in March stance. There's a good chance we can take him out here. Uh, let's see, can I assault units? Go on. Oh, if we'd got that, that would have been awesome. I can't just straight up attack Queek, can I? I have to go through Ral, which is a bit annoying. What? We could also attack uh, Liv. Actually, yeah, let's do it by attacking Liv. Perfect. Yeah, because what we can do then is uh, just run to the side of the map where he's reinforcing from and crush him against the edge of the map, which would be really good. Stops a lot of this artillery and stuff from being a problem. And since Queek's in March stance, I'm pretty sure he will just die. Where is Queek coming in? Top left. Alright, we've got a minute to run over there. Let's get going. I might just try and take out the Grace here in the meantime. Because it's going to be annoying and do that. going. Ignore the clan rats. Ignore the Skaven slaves behind us. Get in here. Engage them straight away. That's really bad. He needs to land now. He needs to land now. <laughs> Dead now. heal himself. We can do charm shield while we wait. And in we go with the bats. Good. Alright, let's uh, drop the ability there. We go down into the Warplock to Zales. Artillery is still bar. Ah, 
Hans has done a good job though. Fantastic. I've absolutely disintegrated these units. It's really good. Actually, I might have her come over here and we'll drop a pit of shades, an upgraded pit of shades on this army. We are immortal. Just to get some damage in there. <laughs> they all run away without even fighting. <laughs> Great stuff. Well, we'll end the battle. I'll do a big pile of rats there <laughs> that got taken out by that. <laughs> 689 kills for her. Very nice. Uh, let's see what happens to Queek's army. I think it should just die. Yeah, it's gone. Perfect. Destroy them. Really good, actually, because now we've only got really this army of Blistit that is part of the original Vermintide, I think. My will alone. Red Duke's coming along to help sweep things up, so that's good. And then once that's all dealt with, all we have to do is head outward, really. At some point, though, I am going to have to keep an eye on this. I guess the best way to deal with the ogres would be to recruit new armies in Castle Drakenhof and then kill them off that way. Okay, anyway, uh, let's keep going with our turn. Felix Gaines can carry on to Gaian Vale. Uh, that's going to be a valiant defeat. Which we're going to have to play out. So let's just continue the siege. And unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, Felix Gaines is going to be ripping out the heart of Ulthuan, taking Guy and Vale. And then we shall be knocking on the doors of the rest of Avalon to kill them off as a faction. Meanwhile, Marath Morphin and Roderick can start putting the pain into Eotain. Yeah. So coming along nicely. That's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.